All right, YouTube, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this is gonna be actually about this uh, training lock from Multipick. Uh, Multipick is having a Black Friday sale from November 24th through the 26th. And uh, this is one of their new products that is uh, gonna be involved in that sale. And I'll put the link down in the description to it. And uh, you're wondering what it is. Uh, this thing is actually very, very cool. I had to open it up and check it out. I wasn't, I wasn't even totally sure what it is. Uh, it's actually called the Multipick Six Pin Dimple Slash Euro Profile Combination Training Lock. And uh, it's basically a cutaway lock of a Euro cylinder. And I uh, think it's very, very cool. Uh, very nice work, you know, nice machining and everything on it to uh, do the, the uh, cutaways on it. And what you actually have is uh, one side is a dimple lock for practicing dimple picking. And uh, the other side is a, uh, I guess I'd call maybe just a more uh, standard pin tumbler lock. And uh, cutaways, like I said, done very, very nice. And it actually comes uh, loaded with security pins here. If you uh, look at it, let me grab one of my Christina Palmer picks here. And actually notice that we've got, you know, sp spool pins. Uh, I'm not sure what these pins are called. I'll pull one out and I'll show you. And we've got a couple of standard pins. And then the uh, dimple side uh, is pinned similar. And very, very cool. It has the uh, socket cap screw, so very easy to repin it. it. comes with some nice pinning tweezers. And even comes with a screw if you wanted to mount it on a door, you could. Or if you had some kind of jig or something, you could actually mount it. Get everything out of the little package here. Got the keys. And then also it gives you it's a 50-piece set of pins here. So if you want to uh, change the bidding on it, you can. And this also, let me just go ahead and so I can open this up here without everything going flying on me. All right, so got it open here. I'm just gonna just dump these out in my little tray, and I'll show you uh, some of the other pins that they've got in here. Uh, we have some grab a little tweezers here. Actually, got some uh, T pins. So if you want to practice picking T pins, you uh, absolutely can with this. So that's a T pin right there, and we've even got. Of course, some spools that you've know, already showed you that are inside the lock, and you even got some uh, serrated pins. Right there is a serrated driver pin, and then all kinds of just uh, different length key pins and some extra caps in case you you know you lose one. Now, these are just uh, two millimeter socket caps, so I mean you could pretty easily replace if you did lose them. But and of course all your extra springs and uh, just tons of extra key pins, different sizes. And here's one of these uh, pins. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I don't know what this is called. It's this kind of pin here. It's not something that I see. I guess really in the states anyway. But uh, it's another another kind of security pin. So, uh, so that's what all it comes with. And you know, of course, your Allen wrench to very easily remove the socket caps. And then, uh, as far as keys go, you got your dimple key. And you can actually you know, turn the lock. You can actually see how a lock actually works here when the correct key is inserted in. Everything is lifted. Everything's going to be lifted to the shear line. And the lock will actually turn here. So right now it's lifting everything flush with the shear line. And you can actually turn the lock. And then you've got your standard key here for the uh, other side. And uh, actually works the same same way as the dimple side here. I'm just going to lift all the key pins to the shear line and allow the lock to uh, be turned. Now, like I said, very cool, uh, very heavy. I mean, it's a real profile cylinder. Uh, you know, not some you know, plastic junk or anything. And then one other cool thing I want to do with this here, um, let's see if I can actually show you one thing here like i think these cutaways are fun i've got a schlag cutaway lock that's in some of my other videos uh, but basically you can actually set these up you know if you want to practice a false set or practice picking you know serrated pin uh, i'm just looking at this here so it looks like on our pins here we got number one is a spool pin two is a spool pin uh, three and four are those other security pins and then five and six are standard pins and just looking at our key here uh, very very deep cut on cut number one so that spool pin may not produce a big false set because uh the you know the key pin is so long so i want to just uh, kind of demonstrate a false set with this thing and just kind of show you how to progressive pin it so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to take out 
uh, positions uh, one and uh, three and four. I think I'm going to take those out. So you just simply unscrew your socket cap screw and just uh, dump the pins out. Take these security pins out here. So this is number uh, number three. And I'm going to take out number four. All right, and then I've got my uh, Christina Palmer pick set here. I'm going to just use, uh, use the deeper hook here and a one millimeter uh, top of the keyway tension bar. And hopefully this shows up on camera here. What I want to do is actually just kind of demonstrate a false set. So see on uh, positions, pick at here, positions up. Five and six are standard pins, and then position two is a spool pin. So I'm going to put our tension wrench in and uh, apply some tension. All right, and then we're going with the pick here. So our spool pin is probably not going to bind first, so we'll go to the back here to position five. Click on five. There's a click on five. I got a little rotation. Sorry guys, I'm doing this around the camera, trying to make sure you guys could see. All right, so there's a the number six, and now we've got a very, very deep false set. So now we go back here, I'm going to get some counter rotation. We uh, go find our spool pin here, which is in position two. Now if you can see the tension here, when I start lifting this pin, it's going to counter rotate. That towards the camera there, and I ended up dropping five and six. It's actually a lot easier without the camera, of course. But we'll just go back to five and six here, pick them again. You know, sometimes when you're picking spool pins, you're just gonna drop pins sometimes, no big deal. So five set, six is set, and we drop back into our false set. Now I can get to number uh, two here. Counter rotation, and if we did set number two. Uh, but we did drop five or six. It looks like we dropped number six. So we'll just go back to six. And now we pick six again. The lock is now actually open. So that's how you know you can progress a pin here. So you can kind of practice getting off uh, false sets. And it's just one of the very, very cool things about these cutaway locks. You can actually see what's going on as well. And you, know, you can throw some, uh, you know, some serrated pins in or two and practice clicking through the serrations. So, uh, like I said, very cool lock, very well made. Um, I, I really like it a lot. Um, you know, like I said, if you want yours, there's going to be a link down in the description and Black Friday sale from 1124 to 1126. And then uh, after that, I do have a promo code. It's uh, MPBoard23, which is good till the end of 2023. So uh, if you missed the Black Friday sale, if it's still in 2023, you can use that promo code. And uh, like I said, I don't get anything out of it, but uh, Multipick makes some really nice stuff and um, you know, high quality. Uh, definitely uh, worth having. So if you guys have any uh, questions or comments or anything, uh, please uh, put them in the comments. And um, I guess till next time, we'll talk to everybody later.